he sent them to losers and he didn't play his losers match. Yep. So the winner of this advances to winners to winners finals? Yes, advances to winners finals. Oh, that is correct. Justin Wong did uh beat Diamond. Yep. Yeah, at, at KIT in a phenomenal set actually re reverse swept him. 3-0 because uh, Daimini had him down. He beat, well, he beat him one set, 3-0. Five two zero. Yeah, he beat him five games straight, and then just the wrong swept him three games straight after just making an, uh, an adjustment, playing more like Ricky Ortiz. So Justin Wong knows how to play this matchup. Wow. Gets nice right dive. in there. Nice dive kick. He's already got him in the corner. Oh, try to go with a, a delayed dive kick. Uh, Dude was ready. Wow, there's a lot of movement going on in this match. Nice choice. Oh, tried to bait out something enough to beat his back through. Oh, nice. He's realizing when he's charged and baiting it. Yep. Man, Justin Wong is making some really good choices. I haven't seen this match play like this. But it's still not over. He is one target combo away. Ooh, gets the reversal kick. Knuckle Do in very great position. There's not much Justin Wong can do to get in. And Knuckle Do takes round number one. Yeah, kept it together there. Uh, other guys usually use compose on that kind of situation. Ooh, gets the back, back fair. Ooh, gets him again. Both punches. EX Snake Strikes. One of the best options against Rufus is actually to air to air him because even if he, he beats you in the air, he doesn't get that much. But if he hits, if he beats you on the ground, then he's gonna get a full standing combo. Oh, Knuckles do tries to, tries to pull some off. This time just jump. Just the one opting not to use the ultra. Oh, oh. Gets, very nice. Gets the stun. Is he gonna ultra? Yes, he's gonna ultra. Not sure if that'll kill. That might kill? No, it's not. Nah, nah. But at least, you know, he's gonna build another ultra. And, and he, he just oh, chops chip? to go for the chip. Smart. He's he's got, he's got smart. I got more than enough. Yep. He's got, yeah, he's got three bars still. He's going to build it. He's, he's in good shape. Very smart decision making by Justin Wong. He tries to bait out the flash kick. Knuckle dude not doing it. Ooh. He drops it. Gets, oh. oh, drops it again. But he gets the throw. He's got to watch out for those crouch checks. He, he might want to start crouch checking with fierce or at least medium punch. Oh, he sees the throw coming. Wow. wow! Oh, drops the link. Gets the cross up. I don't think Knuckle Dude was prepared for that. Knuckle Dude reading the EX Messiah, but he messes up. Justin Wong with the crispy link. Yeah, Justin Wong playing this perfectly. Dude can't create space. He just Through the drop combos, Justin Wong still on the offensive. Do not able to create space like you said, and Justin Wong takes the first game. Close game, still takes the first game in swift fashion that last round. And he extends his lead to 1-0. Yeah, dude just could not do anything to create space. He just couldn't, like, no matter what he did, Justin Wong was just playing, just outplaying him at every step in terms of moving around the screen. So dude's gotta do a little bit better of keeping him out, but easier said than done, you know. This is the Rufus. The Wong factor is in full, and I would just like to point out that the Wong factor has been in full effect, even though it's online. I would just like to point that out. That is amazing. Justin Wong, seasoned tournament player. You would think in the online atmosphere, since so many players really, you know, really don't like to play online for what it is, for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. And Justin Wong comes out of nowhere, top eight winner's side, on his, on his road to winner's side, Winners finals, winners bracket, top eight. And it's showing that no matter the climate that you put him in, Justin Wong is playing to win every time and that he is a killer no matter the platform. And that just goes to show you what a top notch player is like. So Justin Wong coming to take the online world on and he is proving that he is one of the best in the world, hands down. So much respect and props to Justin Wong. Oh, just uh, Knuckle Dude going with a uh, Buki.
Man, so Justin want to discourage him that much to not even want to try to play Kyle. Really? Oh, wow. Goes to a boot. Um, most would argue this is a bad decision, but it, you know, it doesn't matter about what the matchup is. It matters about what you comfortable with. Yeah. But he's got to stop crouch checking with the uh, regular crouch check. He's got to crouch check with a heavy button. Wow, Justin Wong. Oh, wow, Justin Wong. Smart. Actually, Justin Wong had a pretty a pretty close match versus White Gun earlier. And White Gun playing extremely solid, probably more solid than people have seen him play. And, Are you yeah. and Justin Wong, you know, took it down to the last game last round. Justin Wong edged him out. So very good stuff. So Justin Wong, no stranger in the Suzuki matchup, but Nuffu Dude actually in the lead right now. Gets the cross up, goes to the next break of finisher, gets the Kunai cross up. And closes out round number one versus Justin Wong with the Ibuki switch. And like you said, what some people might say isn't a good switch, it's all about what the player is comfortable with. And right now, it looks like uh, Knuckle Dude made the best decision to make, and it's working out. Oh no, Justin Wong. Oh, sure. Justin Wong. Is that a video punish? You have Snake Strike? I'm not sure. Yo, I did not know that regular Snake Strike beats Kunai setup. Yeah, it gets him off the ground and beats low. I think it'd be slow unless it's meaty, but uh, I guess him in the air pretty quickly. Oh, Knuckle Dude using the EX up kick. That's the one I'm gonna use his last meter. Let's see what he's got. Oh wow, the auto correct EX Messiah. Oh man, he's one target combo away. Wow, Ooh, dude, puts oh. it from Justin Wong. Knuckle Dude like, overextended himself a little bit. He still has got a chance. Tries to bait the EX Messiah. Oh. And Justin Wong. And now Knuckle Dude probably could have used Meter, but it, I think he would have traded regardless. Yeah, so EX is pretty interesting. I think he just opted. Nice. He goes into the EX up kicks. He knew he was negative, so he followed with something invincible. I think he should start going to the two hit jump ins. I think he can get some mileage off of that. He's been using the one jump in. Knock down. Justin Wong using the X-Men side to get out of danger. Ooh, nice block from Justin Wong. He tries to back that. Oh, it's over. I don't think Knuckle Dude is going to go over. Justin Wong with the dive kick chase down. Nice. It's the oh. He didn't go into Ultra. He opted to save it because one more mix up with that, he can cancel into it. If he has, I've never seen Dude do it. I think he should have just took the guaranteed damage in the setup. He could but, have. Uh, we'll see what happens. And he has Super as well. Don't forget he has Super. Yep. So the next hit from either player can kill. So Dude playing very patient. He has a life lead. So Justin Wong is the one that has to be the aggressor in this situation. But Justin Wong is known to lame you out even when you have life lead. So, oh, no. Oh, right there, Justin Wong makes it happen. Oh, gets the EX Messiah. Oh, Knuckle Dude crosses to the other side. Justin Wong has a life lead. 14 seconds left. Knuckle Dude has to make something happen. Oh, that was his oh, chance. Oh, that was it. That was his chance. Oh, and he drops it. Oh, no, he dropped oh, it. Oh, and Justin Wong. Use other food and he actually falls out of the standing medium kick to Ninja Sickle and gets the punish. Justin Wong, Wong Factor in full effect today.